All right, so this one here is going to have a chest seal in it. It's going to have a cutter, it's going to have quick flop, and then the elastic bandage. So I want to uh, go over, there's a major uh, bleed to this extremity here. How are we going to, uh, you know, occlude that um, bleeding? Well, the traditional tourniquet is not really needed in a canine. You don't need as much pressure to occlude it. You can literally grab the, the, uh, the area here and put enough pressure and that will occlude it. But we're going to go ahead and use this elastic wrap. So open that up and we're going to start wrapping uh, this wrap right in here at kind of deep in that pocket. And as I get this, I'm going to pull nice and tight. Similar concept with the SWAT T. We're going to try to capture the largest amount of area, surface area. And even that alone will start occluding this. If you want to get extra pressure, you can do a little flip in here like that. And again, I'm going to keep tightening this all around to get as much pressure and occlusion as I can. This will address most of your, would you say, Evan, most of the bleeds yeah. uh, in canines, right? Yeah, most any traumatic amputation or bleeding on the leg or extremity can be taken care of with I mean, you'll be able to grab it with your hand to occlude it, stop the bleed, but um, just like this this modified ETD uh, or ace wrap. Okay, so a little quick uh, technique. Let's say you went really soft and they're still bleeding here. With this, um, the locking bar right here, you just go back one or two of these folds here, and I like to personally go back two. I put them underneath, and now I can use this as a kind of a modified windlass, right? So I'm, as I'm turning this, it's gonna create a lot more pressure here and you'll see that it's occluding uh, that bleed. So now to secure it, um, we can basically just grab a piece from here and all you need is one and it's secured. Yeah. So that's a, a, a simple way using minimal equipment. This could be an ace bandage, a SWAT tee. We're using our elastic that we carry. Um, so we'll kind of back up now to packing this wound, right? So I actually wanna still use this. So. We'll We'll kind of reuse this. You can see that it has multiple uses. And what I like the most about this is the length. So a little harder to take off, obviously, but here we go. Really like the ability to use that uh, bar as a windlass that over an ace wrap. Yeah. Okay, so in our scenario, we would use true quick clot, uh, but for today, we're just gonna use regular gauze to show you. So what I wanna do is I have a junctional area. This could also be in the neck. Uh, just in this area here where a tourniquet or a modified splint like we just did will not work. So what I wanna do is I wanna locate the source of bleeding. It'll be kind of like a squirt gun or you feel like a, a, it's a pulsating mass, right? So I'll make a little knot with my quick clot or gauze that I'm using. Go ahead and insert it into the cavity to feel the location of the pulsating mass. And then I'm gonna pack this wound. You wanna pack and create pressure in that cavity. So you wanna fill us all the corners of that cavity as much as I can, right? So I'm going to the bottom, going to the top. Again, this is all, it's not similar to, so much to humans as the overall treatment. I want you to think about securing the dog, keeping them calm. That's why we need to have a muzzle. This is all the stuff that, you know, it's not, we're not used to it as maybe paramedics and law enforcement folks that we don't deal with canines. And that's including me as well. So that's why I'm here learning and so forth. So we pack this cavity as much as we can, go as deep as we can. And if you have any excess, we're gonna leave it on top. It's gonna help focus that pressure. Again, we already kind of used this. So just to get an idea, now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this. So I can go ahead Doing good, buddy. You're okay. So we want to get nice and tight over this. And this diesel dog mannequin weighs about 70, 80 pounds. So it does a pretty good job of simulating. So as long as I got yeah, enough pressure on this, I could finish it off with my uh, bar here to secure it. And again, we don't want to go too tight on this one here because that's going to affect, you know, movement of respirations and so forth. So again, as an overview, most of your limb leads, all you need is some good direct pressure above it and some kind of wrap, ace wrap or our elastic wrap, a SWAT T tourniquet. And then as far as the junctional wounds to pack, as you can see, gauze or a quick clot and then wrap it around as well. Thanks for watching. And uh, Evan, you have anything you want to add?
no man it's a uh, solid and it's a little like a little kit like that you can do a lot with just three or four things you know i think that's important to especially carrying it on you what you have on you is always gonna be better than what you left in the car awesome well thanks for watching guys and as always let's save lives together